as a forbidden child of the Sea God. You are singular amongst demigods. Percy started as a bedtime story for my son. He was struggling with dyslexia and ADHD, having a terrible time in school, but the one thing he did love was Greek mythology. So I started telling him stories from the Greek myths. When I ran out of the old stuff, I made up a new Greek hero. Earthshaker, Stormbreaker, Percy Jackson. Hi, I'm Percy. It's nice to meet you. Percy's son of Poseidon. He can control water. He can breathe underwater. He's very impulsive, energetic. Even though he goes on a hero's journey, he's relatable for all the kids that feel like they don't fit. We're gonna find the thing that you're good at. Grover, I am entrusting you to protect my son. I'm gonna pack the best snacks. Grover Underwood is a satyr. He's half man, half goat. He's very timid by nature, but no matter what's going on, he's always there for the group. As long as the three of us are together, none of us are gonna be alone. I'm Annabeth. Annabeth is the daughter of Athena, goddess of wisdom and battle strategy. She doesn't mess around. Do exactly as I say, and maybe you survive this. The dynamic between Percy, Annabeth, and Grover is that classic golden trio archetype. Percy, who's the hero, Annabeth, who's the brains, and Grover, who's like the soul of the group. It's okay, you're safe. This is a story about a kid who is meeting the world and going on an adventure with two of his friends that just capture something universal about what it's like to be a kid. The themes of feeling like an outsider, if you're a parent having a kid who has learning differences, generations of readers really connect to this because it comes from such an honest, beautiful place. You are not broken. If you're looking for a great story that has cliffhangers and keeps you guessing, and has characters that you really care about, then you're going to love this series. Let her in.